What is going on, everybody? My name is Pete, and you guys are watching Paid to Drive and Pay to Drive Vlogs. Hope you guys are doing fantastic out there. If you drive for apps like Grubhub, DoorDash, Uber Eats, or any of the others, you, my friends, are in the right place to stay up to date with what's going on in the gig economy. So get started right now for free. Hit that red subscribe button down below. Turn on all notifications so you're always notified whenever I post something new. And if you wouldn't mind, hit that like button down below. Just lets YouTube know I'm doing a good job. In fact, leave a comment right now saying liked just so I know you did it. And let's jump into it. All right, drivers and dashers, got another interesting one here for you. Uh, Janet Stegman, shout out to you for sharing this article with all of us. DoorDash dealing with internal strife after all employee delivery mandate and backlash. Remember this? Uh, starting in just a few days, all DoorDash employees, including workers at all levels, including the CEO, will be required to deliver at least one order each month as part of the company's WeDash program that was created back when the company was founded in 2013. And joining us more, more for more on this, Yahoo Finance is Yahoo Finance's Danny Romero on how some DoorDash employees are receiving this. And Danny, I guess even the CEO is kind of competing with these employees for some of their business now. Danny Romero said, well, Jared, let's just say it's been a little bit of a mixed reaction from DoorDash delivery drivers, as well as these corporate employees. And like you said, this is a mandatory initiative that requires all employees to deliver at least one order once a month. And for those that are unable to participate, they can work in a chat support for customers or with merchants instead. And the whole goal of this program is to allow employees to really get a first-hand experience of working with its customers, also understanding its operations. <clears throat> However, some corporate employees, including a well-paid engineer, have fired back and expressed their frustration about this reinstated program through an online anonymous social media platform called Blind. One employee wrote, I didn't sign up for this. There was nothing in the offer letter slash job description about this. And his post created over 800 comments. And some of those comments included employees siding with the company's value to reinstate the program. Now, despite all the criticism, DoorDash will continue its plan to bring back the program. They sent us this statement that reads in part, the sentiment of the employee on blind is not a reflection of the employee base at large. This is a valued program we've had since the company's inception. And on the flip side, I spoke with some DoorDash delivery drivers who had a lot of mixed reactions about this. Take a listen. Veronica Barnes said, it's a good idea and let them do it for free. Cut their salary back. Matter of fact, cut their salary back and have them go out there and do those orders for free because that's exactly where we're at. Very strong words. Uh, Danny Romero. Meanwhile, other DoorDash delivery drivers say that delivering one order really doesn't give these employees that full experience. Take a listen. Samir Sharma said, so they might be lucky and get that one order that'll be okay. But what about the other orders that we have to struggle on a daily basis, where we have to wait nearly half an hour, 45 minutes at a restaurant? We call customer service for help. We don't get any extra for waiting. We try to get a hold of the customer who lives in an apartment but doesn't answer the door or doesn't answer the phone so we can, so we can get the code to get in. With one order, they're not going to feel the pain that we feel on a daily basis. And I agree with that wholeheartedly. Uh, Danny Romero said, and you can hear it right there from that DoorDash delivery driver who really believes delivering that one order will not give these employees that full experience. Uh, Jared uh, Karina. Karina Contreras says, and Danny, so many businesses in the service sector are dealing with dire labor shortages. What are you hearing from workers about any leverage they now have to sort of seek better pay? Danny said, yeah, Karina, you're absolutely right. You know, the service industry is really under a lot of pressure and facing these labor shortages. And the pandemic really didn't help, especially for these gig workers who have made 
who have to make deliveries in unsafe weather conditions. But many gig economies, especially delivery service ones, workers have little to no power to really negotiate on their pay. And some delivery drivers I spoke with also have fired back on how customers have really become accustomed to instant gratification because of technology, which has really hindered their work environment. Take a listen. Veronica Barnes, America is becoming real lazy. Like, I'm not understanding it, but I can't be a slave to the system. I can't afford it. Danny says, you know, the highlights, some of the, uh, you know, this highlights some of the pressure that these workers are really under, but I'll say this, some California DoorDash delivery drivers have protested actually in front of DoorDash CEO's home in San Francisco, demanding for higher pay as well as tip transparency. But according to DoorDash, base pay is calculated based on estimated time, distance, and desirability of an order. Jared Karina. Yeah. We thank you for that report. So dashers, drivers, we got to talk about this one, man. What do you think about it? Let me know down below in the chat or the comments. Do you agree or disagree? And of course, if you ever have anything you want to share with me, a comment, a question, a topic, a story, an article, whatever it is, be sure to send it to me at paid to drive stories at gmail.com. Also, for a quicker response, you guys can always reach out and message me through Patreon at patreon.com forward slash paid to drive. That link is in the description down below or in the pin top comment. And anyone who signs up as a patron as my way of saying thank you is I give you guys shout outs in all my new videos. And as you can see, there are all the names right here on your screen of our current patrons as of the current moment of this video being made so huge shout outs to all of them if you guys want to sign up links are down below as i mentioned who's going to be the next patron maybe it will be you and of course i hope every single one of you out there is saving lots of money on your gas using the free gas app called get upside the link is in the description down below just scroll down this page and click on the link that says get the free gas app it's very simple to use it'll tell you how to install it on whatever kind of phone tablet or device that you have and then from that point all you got to do is go to your gas station pump your gas print out your receipt take a picture of your receipt with the get upside gas app and within 48 hours or so you'll get anywhere from 15 cents to 45 cents a gallon back which is pretty fantastic. And if a friend or family member signs up using your code, you'll get paid every time they pump gas. It's called Get Upside. Links in the description down below. Make sure to download it today. And finally, for all your t-shirts, hoodies, and goodies, visit paidtodrivestore.com. That link is in the description, and you guessed it, the pin top comment down below. We've got lots of great new designs, colors, sizes, you name it. We probably have it on sale every day at paidtodrivestore.com. That link is in the description down below. And the pin top comment. And of course, if you made it to the end of this video, I'm extremely grateful for all of you. Let me know by leaving a comment in the chat or the comment section below saying end 100, E-N-D 100. Just lets me know you did it. Don't forget to hit that red subscribe button down below and turn on all notifications so you're always notified whenever I post something new. And if you wouldn't mind it, hit that like button down below. Just lets me know you enjoyed the video. And it lets YouTube know that I'm doing a good job. In fact, leave a comment right now saying liked, L-I-K-E-D, just so I know you did it. And until next time, get that money, get that honey. Keep hustling and keep bustling. And we'll see you next time right here on Paid to Drive and Paid to Drive Logs. And as always, drive safe, be well, and we'll see you on the next one. Peace.